Now then, as you may have guessed, we're in the middle of the hay fever season and thankfully it hasn't been too bad so far because of the wet weather. But the damp climate brings out other problems for allergy sufferers like myself. And according to a new group of doctors, allergies of all kinds are on the increase. They call themselves the British Allergy Foundation, set up because they believe that the NHS has possibly turned its back on those with an allergy, despite the fact that the number of sufferers is rising at an alarming rate of 5% per year. Four out of every ten of us have some sort of allergy, and the problem isn't just confined to this country. Over 100,000 working hours are lost throughout Europe each year because of allergies. Well, with us now is Professor Robert Davies, Chairman of the newly formed British Allergy Foundation. Good morning to you, Professor. Good morning. Um, why is it going up? Why is it going up at such an alarming rate? I wish we really knew the answer to that, but there are lots of possibilities. One is mothers smoking, unfortunately, during pregnancy, which increases the likelihood of their children being born with allergy. Another thing is the rather energy-conserving houses we live in, which has cut down the drafts and not removing from the environment the house dust mites and the chemicals and the damp that builds up. Interestingly, because we've got rather fitter and we're having less viral infections early on in life, we seem to be more prone to allergy. Virus infections may have had a protective effect against allergy. And another factor may well be pollution. And there's evidence from, certainly from abroad and Europe and in Japan, that diesel exhaust particulates may help to bring on allergies in people. Is it really man-made then? Is this what you're saying? Well, I think in part it's... Uh, I don't think we had so, man, so much trouble in the, in the past. We lived in more in the open with drafts around. Yeah, why, why are you having to set up this organisation? Why isn't the health service <clears throat> doing this for us? Well, one of the things is, as, as you know, the number of people with allergy is increasing. And I don't think there's good enough information available, either for sufferers or for the medical profession, about allergy, its diagnosis and its management. So we're here, first and foremost, to try to help the allergy sufferer by providing this increase in information to them and to the profession. And thirdly, what we want to do is to raise money so we can really research why it is that allergy is on the increase. Is there any cure for allergies as such, or can you just treat the symptoms? At the moment, there really is no cure, unfortunately. That's what we want to get to the bottom of and find. At the moment, the therapy that is used is very effective, but it's only suppressive. Hay fever is probably the largest one, am I right in thinking that? You are, And yes. is, that, is that hereditary? Is that a hereditary? Yes, there's thing? a definite hereditary factor. We know quite a lot about the genes now that cause people to be allergic. For example, if two people are both allergic and have a child, then it's a 60% chance that the child will be allergic and have very similar allergies to the parents. And which is the, the sort of the fast up-and-coming allergy? I, I was going to say that the trendiest mm -hmm. allergy to have. Is it, is it the house dust mite or...? Or, I think people have got more and more, no, well, I think both those things, but I think people have got more and more interested in the house dust mite, this curious little creature living in bedding, and very suitable, unfortunately, to the rather damp British climate. A lot can be done now to try to reduce the amounts of this mite in your environment. There are very good materials which are being introduced, which you can cover your mattress, eider down and pillows with, and this will greatly reduce the exposure you suffer to the house dust might. And who's going to fund your organisation? How are you going to actually get the thing going? Well, we hope that a number of trusts will fund us, we hope industry will fund us, and we hope that in the end the public will help us. Because we're really there to help people with allergy, to help them realise what the allergies are, what's causing them, and to help them uh, get over them. Because in its worst form, an allergy can be, can be chronic, can't it? Oh, yes, indeed, absolutely. In its worst form, it can kill. Okay. Professor, thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thanks thank very you. much indeed. It's now 26 minutes past six and uh, all this week, well certainly yesterday.